Hi. Today I'll show you how to use the flexible shipping plugin. To start, go to WooCommerce, Shipping, Shipping Zones and choose the shipping zone that you want to use. There, click on Add New Shipping Method button and choose Flexible Shipping. Then confirm it again using Add New Shipping Method. If you don't have that option, please make sure that the Flexible Shipping plugin is activated. When you add a method, it is automatically enabled. You can turn it off here and use the disabled method as a draft. Now, edit your Flexible Shipping Method. You can do that by clicking its name or using the edit link beneath it. As you can see, the first two options are method title and description. Flexible shipping supports the HTML tags in the method description field. You can use them to put the carrier company logo or to add the detailed price list overview link. This is how they look in the shop. Next, there is a tax setting where you can adjust shipping taxes for this shipping method. You can determine its tax status. It can be taxable or non-taxable. If it's taxable, you can decide whether you want to enter shipping costs with or without taxes. Next, there is a setting of the free shipping. Flexible shipping plugin allows you to set free shipping over amount. To configure it, just put the amount of the whole order the client has to make to get the free shipping. There is also a label which will be displayed next to the method title in the checkout when the free shipping will be activated. You can also display a notice with the amount of price left for free shipping. Let's see what it looks like. I set free shipping as $200 and turn on the left to free shipping notice. Now I go to the shopping cart where I have $100 worth of products. As you can see, a notice about the amount left to free shipping is displayed. When I add more products and exceed $200, the notice disappears and the user gets free shipping. Free shipping label additionally appears next to the shipping method. Let's go back to the flexible shipping method settings. Another option is the calculation method. In the free version of the plugin, there is only one option available. The sum means that all the rules configured below will be added together. There is also a visibility option. You can set this method to be shown only for the logged users. You can use it for marketing purposes, for example, by creating cheaper shipping methods for users who signed up on your shop. Next, there is a flexible shipping debug mode. Enable it to verify the shipping method's configuration. Check which one was used and how the shipping cost was calculated. This allows you to identify any possible mistakes. If you have any valid integration activated in your store, you will have an option to select one. As you can see it can be a DPD UK or any other integration compatible with the flexible shipping plugin. Now, it's time for the most important part of the flexible shipping method settings, calculation rules. With the new shipping method, you have only one default rule. You can edit it, add a new one or use ready-made scenarios. In the free version of the plugin you have three available options to determine shipping. Always as basically a flat rate shipping. It will add a shipping cost regardless of the value or weight of the cart. Weight is calculated from the combined weight of all products in the cart. The weight unit is automatically determined based on your WooCommerce settings. You can set the weight range and add a cost for that rule. Rule cost means that the amount will be added to the shipping cost if the weight of products in the cart fits into the weight range you have set. It's very similar with price-based shipping. You can select the price condition, set its range and enter the rule's cost. You can add a multiple shipping rules in that table. The plugin allows you to delete rules or duplicate them. Please mind that the ranges you define must not overlap each other and make sure there are no gaps between them. To better show how it works, I will use ready-made scenarios and show how they perform in a sample WooCommerce store. Ready-made scenarios allows you, with just a few clicks, to use the most popular shipping scenarios in your own store. To use it, click Use Ready-Made Scenarios button in the Rules table. In a pop-up, you'll see a list of all available scenarios. After you choose one, the plugin will automatically load the selected scenario overriding the currently configured rules. It can be freely edited in the Rules table, speeding up the configuration of your own scenarios, or being used to test the plugin's capabilities. 
Let's use the weight based shipping scenario as an example. As you can see, it loaded four shipping rules based on weight. First, from zero to almost one kilogram, that will charge $10. Second, from one kilogram to almost four kilograms, that will charge $11. Third, from 4 kilograms to almost 7 kilograms, that will charge $12, and the last one from 7 to 10 kilograms, that will charge $13. Let's see how it works in WooCommerce Store. First, I disabled the free shipping to not overwrite the rules and save changes. Then, I go to my cart. As you can see, I have there one product that weight 100 grams. Based on my weight based shipping settings, shipping to New York cost $10. When I add another product, this time with 1 kilogram weight, the shipping cost changed to $11. Next range is from 4 kilograms, so let's add a few products to my cart. They all should weight over 5 kilograms, so the shipping cost is $12. As you can guess, when I add more products and reach next weight range, the shipping cost will change to $13. In a similar way, you can freely set your rules based on weight or cart value. If you want additional features, check out Flexible Shipping Pro that gives you much more shipping configuration options and allows you to configure almost any shipping scenario in your WooCommerce store. That's all. Thank you.